George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Behold the Jerko Lemming, one of the jungle's most elusive creatures. Jerko Lemmings are well known for throwing themselves off cliffs. Ha! My research will blow the lid off that old wives' tale. They don't throw themselves off cliffs. These little jerks toss other animals off cliffs. Get no way to treat king of jungle! <laughs> You forget science, geek! <laughs> hey, no! Put me down! I'm doing this for science! Well, Miss Scott, that's a fine example of what we in the academic world would call a complete, total, dare I say, breathtaking failure! You were supposed to study the Jerko Lemmings, not become their prey. A good scientist doesn't get involved. Hey! Oh, this is bombed again. I don't even remember leaving that shot in there. The only thing you've proven is that falling off a cliff can ruin one short-term memory. Who fall off cliff? I I don't remember. Perhaps you don't have the right stuff for jungle science. Professor Lang, please don't make me go back to the science I was doing before. <laughs> Whales are big inside. Ugh. Lucky for you, you still managed to capture science gold. Huh? Who is this feral woman? Where did she come from? How did she grow all those extra teeth? That's Ursula, and that's all we know. She isn't one for small talk. Also very bitey. This Ursula is a discovery that can make me science famous. I'd be right up there with Einstein, Newton, and... Whoever invented the internet. And it's about time that jungle coughed up something interesting. Him. Hello, talking ape here. I've been to the circus, Furball! <laughs> Find out more about that jungle girl, and maybe I won't send you back to Wheel Gut Research. Thanks for helping, guys. Make sure you tape everything. I'll need backup if I'm gonna get close to Ursula and not, you know, die. For science! Okay, George, roll it! <laughs> With her unparalleled ferocity, Ursula is capable of intimidating animals much larger than herself. <laughs> Are you getting this? George, not idiot. Hypothesis. Ursula's a lost Bavarian princess who was stranded here when her royal parents crashed their private jet. <laughs> New hypothesis. One of Ursula's parents was a snake. <laughs> Come on! We need to follow her! If she can do it, so can I! <laughs> Maybe we could lure Ursula to us instead? It's important to stay hidden, or she'll never take the bait. Maybe we could just study her unconscious? If that doesn't stop her in her tracks, this sure will! Ah! She's coming! Hide! Ah! Does she sound closer to you guys? Ah! 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 Okay, new plan. Wow, Magnolia looks like she's lost all sense of fashion. Ursula will let me get close if she thinks I'm like her. So this is the wild me! Rawr! <laughs> <laughs>
Do I need another stick in my hair? Magnolia, Magnolia, Magnolia of the Jungle. Scientist she'd like to be. Magnolia, Magnolia, Magnolia of the Jungle. She wants a PhD. Oh, George wish he had theme song too. Shh. I'll be fine, right? Oh yeah, You'll be fine. no problem. Great, wish me luck. Stars, following her finely honed instincts. Fighting many different things. But I've got hours and hours of film. See? Tell you. Oh, I've got pages and pages of notes. Powerful scribble notes. Notes are gonna cut it, bookworm. I need that animal lady in the flesh. How else can I show her off at universities, labs, and freak shows all over the world? Have you no seen King Kong? He's right. Didn't you see that film? This episode's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Trapping Ursula is extremely dangerous and wrong. As lead researcher, you'd earn a coveted stool in my laboratory. It even comes with a real microscope. No, I won't exploit Ursula. Not even for science. Ah, you're not the first researcher to turn tree hugger, which is why I've initiated Plan B. Out of the way, roadkill. Good. Jungle girl at one o'clock. Fire. Look who's here, Weevil. George of the Jungle and his ape, uncreatively named Ape. Release Ursula this instant. Yeah, do that now. How about I get you both out of the way in record time instead? Yeah, George likes to see that. How? It's all right here in George of the Jungle and Ape, how to get them out of the way in record time by Magnolia Scott. I was hurting for material. My dreams of academic success were finally within reach. All I had to do was help Tiger and Weevil tear Ursula from her jungle home. For jungle friendship! Hello, a little help? 
Magnolia? George, sure she come right back. Jungle Girl has a weird twin. We'll get paid twice. I didn't really think this through. Two legs versus four wheel drive. I don't think so. Yeah? How about a thousand legs? Hey, jerk lemmings! Wakey wakey! Out of the way, rodents, tiger. Mother. What do you mean you let her go? Ursula's not your private zoo animal. She deserves to be free. Listen, you miserable postgrad. Get me that jungle girl or <gasps> let these filthy rodents in. <laughs> no! Uh, unhand me! I am tenure! Magnolia in trouble with teacher lady? Fortunately, getting tossed off a cliff really messes up your short-term memory. And some things are more important than science. Like our wild girl friendship. Right, Ursula? Meet George. In case you're new around here, George is king of the jungle. It's really more of an honorary title. George may be king, but it's not like the other animals actually, you know, listen to him. Waterfall down. So to go up, just go in back first. <laughs> Tickle. His ideas about how the world works are completely weirdo bizarre, to say the least. That not called Moon. That's Steve up there. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve! Steve! You want honey? Just squeeze out a honey badger. Where else honey come from? Flower? Bee? <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, here, George, show you. Oh. Bad news, he out of honey. None of the animals in the jungle take George's ideas seriously. Can you blame them? Remember that vital piece of information, because today we're following Wait for it. Dr. Chicago. Bet you didn't see that coming, huh? Cuspid, where are you? Uh, I thought I was right here, but now I'm confused. Quiet! I have a new plan, and it's totally boss. I feel it in my evil bones. Your evil bones? We should call a doctor. It's a figure of speech, and I'm a doctor, you molar. As I was proclaiming, this plan will work perfectly. Unlike my weather machine plan. Beautiful day out. George, agree. Oh, my diabolical plan to enslave the jungle using a legion of battle snails. Hurry up! Today, please! Or my most fiendish plan of all, the nano tachyon underpants itcha. Have some itch in your gitch! <laughs> Uh, me no wear underpants. <laughs> but this time, instead of picking on someone my own size, I shall pick on someone much smaller than that. I hereby declare myself supreme ruler of this jungle daycare. Kneel before Chicago. Five minutes later... Aren't you just the fuzzy-wuzziest? Yes, you are! OMG! I've never seen such adorable hyenas! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Why, hello, widow baby bonobo! Aren't you precious and huggable and snuggle-huggable? Wait! What am I saying? Something about wuzzies and fuggies and super snuggle wuggle fuggles. Ah, they hypnotized me. Me, these mewling, mangy, adorable little cuddle kittens. Ah, help me! Their big eyes and chubby cheeks have more power than a quad laser! 
In fact, they've given me a cuddly, wuddly, evilly brainwave. <gasps> Yes! Yes! I've done it! Yay! Done what? Behold! My most villainous creation! The Mascara of Infinite Cuteness! Observe, you laughable stooge! Ew! Cuspid, I'd be super duper happy if you hit yourself with that frying pan! Anything for you, Mr. Rubble. Are you there? Once I have this mascara to myself, no one will be able to resist my ridiculously cute but evil demands. Oh, hello. We're here to put an end to your sinister robot crocodile plan. What? You idiot spoiled that last week. Oh, okay. No need to get all mean about it. Hmm, how about... <coughs> Can we get a jump on foiling your eye-popping machine? No, I gave up on that. I was a fool to think I could get it on a cartoon. But since you're here... Cusp it! Apply my mascara! George! <laughs> hey, watch out! Was it really necessary? That was expensive! No! You called the chain reaction! George? George! Are you okay? Oh, George feel like bruised banana. One bruised banana, you darling little Georgie Wargie. Wow, ape no French? Hours later, in pretty much the same spot. What? Cuspid, where are... Ah, I'm awake, stop! Where's my mascara of infinite cuteness? all over George's face. That flea-bitten jungle cretin stole my mascara? I'll show him who's in charge. Oh. <laughs> Holy cannoli, what's going on? Oh, it's George. He's so cute that everyone does whatever he says. <laughs> I was only out for a nap. What is that? Oh, that's the Snake Space Program. George said they should start it since Snake and Space are spelt the same. Snake, you're not one. This is Mission Control. Is back thrusters. I can't. I have no hands. We also have no hands. Ah! Ape look good. Hide. Ah, uh, whatever you say, you snooky wookums. George like new nicknames. Oh. I could just eat you up with a side of sprinkles. You're so precious. Magnolia good at burrowing. Magnolia should try living with mole rats. Oh, anything you say, little Georgie. Cuspid, can your feeble mind grasp the worst part of all this? Um, that George stole your invention. He stole my invention! Sorry, yes, you were right. Come, I have a plan. This cutie shot will inoculate us from George's quantum adorability. But, 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 but doctor, I'm, I'm afraid of the, 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 the needles. Ah, oh, that wasn't so bad. Don't be silly. That was the warm-up shot. <laughs> He's still kind of cute. Quiet. George won't be kind to anything thanks to my air pistol. <laughs> Don't take me to fairy! Wake up. Let the jungle see how cute George is now with a dumb mustache. <laughs> no one with a handlebar mustache can be cute. No one, I say. <laughs> The next logical step is to use my orbital solar shield and block out the sun. How cute can something be if you can't even see it? <laughs> it's working. It's working. Yeah! That is it. If George 
wants more than more he gets. You mean? Yes, I must science myself madly. I shall create a superior formula, the double mascara of infinite impossible cutie-ootiness. Oh my golly. Then use my ambition array to enlarge my features to saccharine proportions. So dangerous. And finally, the pièce de résistance, a tiny sailor outfit. Mercy on us all. Let's dance, Sea Wants. Hey, Jungle Pants, I'm calling you out. Aww. George, I challenge you to a cute off. George not know what cute off is or why bark only on outside of trees. But George no trust Dr. Chicago. Too bad, because I'm serving up a heap and herping of this. Aww. Let's see what you got. Sorry, George Itchy. What'd I miss? <gasps> Cuspid! It's not working and I blame you for no reason! Bring me the- No, Doc! It's too dangerous! The adorable Elixir! Now! It's the world's most super squeeable animal squeezed down into a single bottle! My last chance to crush George and take over my jungle! Cuspid, if I don't survive this, you were always a constant disappointment. Oh, thanks, Dad. I mean, Doc. I can have domination. Animals, help George up. What in the world? Let us never speak of this. Ugh, agreed. Uh, where's George? <laughs> George wants her cutie booty booty dog first. Put me down, please. Please.